Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're going to be walking you through the calibration procedure for the JT Brooks automatic tire deflators. It is necessary to calibrate your new automatic tire deflators before you use them for the first time or anytime you want to change the tire pressure that you have your deflators set to. If you want to get more information about the JT Brooks automatic tire deflators or some of the other options available from JT Brooks, you can click on the info button to check out that video that we made. Now, with your automatic tire deflators, you will get a card that outlines the steps that you need to go through to complete the calibration. I will say that these steps can take a few times before you get them exactly right. The first time that I completed the procedure, I was a few pounds off of my desired result, but after practicing with a couple of the deflators, well, the calibration process came a lot more natural to me. We're going to be doing this on our spare tire here simply because it's the easiest way for me to show you these steps. You can complete the calibration on any of the tires on your Jeep, or you can even do it like we're doing here on our spare or with your tire sitting on a workbench. The first thing you're going to have to do before you get started with your calibration procedure here is to bring your tire down to the desired pressure that you're going to be running when you're off road. Now that happens to be 15 pounds with this tire here. You can go ahead and use any kind of tire deflating process that you like. We simply went ahead and used our tire gauge to bring this tire down to 15 pounds. And we can verify that by reinstalling our gauge here. And there we go, we're at 15 pounds of air now. The first thing we're gonna need to do with our tire deflator now is to remove this lock ring on the adjustment screw of the deflator and we can set that aside for the moment. Now you're gonna to wanna to run this adjustment screw all the way into the body of the deflator. You can either turn the screw or you can hold the screw and turn the body. I find that way to work a little bit easier. You just wanna snug that down. You don't wanna tighten this. You should have about an eighth of an inch left showing on that adjustment screw when it's run all the way into the body. And then we can go ahead and install that deflator onto our tire's valve stem. It is normal to hear a little bit of air escaping as you're tightening this down. Once it is tightened onto the valve stem here, that rubber O-ring inside will give you a nice secure seal. Now, the next step we're gonna do is to go ahead and slowly back that adjustment screw out, leaving the body of the deflator in place. It should unscrew pretty easily for you. And you're wanting to unscrew that out until you hear air start to escape from the deflator. Once you hear air starting to escape, you're gonna to wanna to tighten that screw back in until this plunger snaps close. And you wanna complete that procedure as quickly as you can so that you can achieve the most accurate result. You'll see it happen here in just a second. We'll keep turning this screw out. It might be necessary to pull on the plunger a little bit to get it started. Now we've got some air escaping. We can turn that adjustment screw back in, and there you saw the plunger snapped back close. Now from here, we can go ahead and grab our lock ring, screw that back onto the adjustment screw, being careful not to turn the adjustment screw. And we can go ahead and tighten that down on the body. At this point, we can remove our deflator from the valve stem. And from here, our JT Brooks automatic tire deflator should be set to air down our tire to 15 pounds. The nice thing about these is once you walk through that calibration procedure, it will air down your tire to that set pressure accurately every time you use it. But you do wanna make sure that you verify that you've completed the procedure correctly by either reinflating your tire, installing the deflator and allowing it to do its job, or of course you can install it on one of the other tires on your Jeep to verify that you've completed that procedure correctly. Now, if you wanna completely eliminate the need to go through that calibration procedure, well, you can step up to the JT Brooks Automatic Tire Deflators Pro. And the noticeable difference here between these two is that we've got this black adjustment screw on the Pro version, and if we back off our lock ring here, you'll see that we have a laser engraved PSI scale on the tire deflator. And what that's gonna allow us to do is to make on the fly changes or to set up our tire deflator to the desired pressure by simply lining up the scale with the body of the tire deflator here. So to go to 15, we'll line that up with the mark and then tighten down our lock ring. 
And there we go, that should be set up to air our tires down to 15 pounds. Again, you are gonna to wanna to verify that by grabbing a tire pressure gauge of your choice. And you're gonna to wanna to verify that anytime you make a change. But as you can see, that definitely eliminates a lot of the steps necessary to calibrate the regular JT Brooks automatic tire deflators. Now, if you guys wanna get more information about the automatic tire deflators or purchase a set for your Jeep, you can click on that info button, head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the calibration procedure, you can leave those for us below. And you wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch all of our latest product reviews and how-to videos. Until next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.